the number one cause of eye strain on cable. It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. That means you're watching. Ha. Welcome back to X-Play. Think back. Think back all the way back to the year 2000. Bill Clinton was still president. The thong song was a huge hit. And Resident Evil Code Veronica was a success on the Dreamcast. I asked the Dreamcast. It's like an old girlfriend you broke up with a long time ago. But you mm -hmm. still think of them fondly until you pay those legal fees. Mm -hmm. Anyway, in the year 2000, Code Veronica looked fine. We were all like, dude, check out these sweet graphics and ignore that crappy camera. Yeah, four years later, the game is being re-released on the GameCube and, well, we might have been wearing beer goggles. Big beer goggles. Mm -hmm. Here's a review of Resident Evil Code Veronica X for the GameCube. Enter an odious realm where evil is always in residence. A horrible world of corporate cannibalism. A place where you'll be chewed more than your mother's Salisbury steak. Where bodily fluid will flow more liberally than A1 on flavorless meatloaf. Enter the aging game space of Resident Evil Code Veronica X, where everything is as it was and nothing has been made current at all. Umbrella up, game fans. It's raining guano as Veronica X plods from a GameCube near you in all its year 2000 original release splendor. It's moaning zombies ahoy as you navigate the endless archipelagos of dimly lit dread, killing and collecting on the road to salvation. In the year 2000, this game had a creepy charm as evil perverted innocence and mangled corpses leapt at you from the shadows. In 2004, fear is replaced with brain-clearing frustration as you flip the switch on some gizmo, only to realize you're missing the butternut squash of destiny necessary to spring someone from a locked room or door. This means backtracking through a bazillion doors, ladders, and giant worm obstacles to get back to that damn thing you forgot in order to continue. Walking and running mechanics are also made faithfully frustrating as you move, stick, and press buttons wildly trying to target the wandering legion-covered skin suits that block your path. Of course, if you're packing enough heat, none of that will really concern you much. As you immerse yourself in the drama of the storyline, you'll discover Claire Redfield has to deal with this whimpering post-puber. And this sadistic fun guy with a wicked sense of humor. You don't fool me. All clothed in the fruity sweetness of a Days of Our Lives melody line. Welcome to the Days of Our Deceased. Brought to you by your friends at Lime Away Corpse Cleanser. Cut, cut, stop the game. I want to get off. Aqua control, sleepy puzzles, aggravating targeting, and endless backtracking. What's to love here, folks? Especially for the less than reissue price tag of $39.99. For those of you this game gave that creepy feeling to all the way back in 2000, you can have that nostalgia back again. For us, its expiration date is long past. We give it a one out of five. Father! Yep, that's a unique dramatic twist. <laughs> this game looks older than the zombies in it. You know, they totally remade the first Resident Evil for the GameCube, and it looked great. But they couldn't be bothered to spruce up Code Veronica, which is arguably the best installment in the series. Mmm, okay.